there have got to be some concerns that yeah. are, uh, you know, potentially serious. What, what might those be? Okay, so in the book, there is a uh, one set that we call externalities. Externalities happens when AI is told to do something, and it's so good at doing that thing that it forgets uh, or actually ignores other externalities or negative impacts that it may cause. So when YouTube keeps sending us videos that we're most likely to click on, it's not only not thinking about serendipity, it's also potentially sending me um, very negative views or very one-sided views that might shape my thinking. So that would be one form of externality that is unintentional consequence on the user because it maniacally tries to optimize something else. Um, another is uh, the, the personal data, uh, when if that's possibly compromised. Uh, another is bias and fairness. Another is, can AI explain to us why it made decisions that it made for key things like um, driving uh, autonomous vehicles, the trolley problem, medical uh, decision-making, surgeries? It, it gets serious. But the single largest danger, as I describe in the book, um, is autonomous weapons. And that's when AI can be, uh, can be trained to kill and more specifically trained to assassinate. Uh, imagine a drone that can fly itself and, and seek uh, specific people uh, out, either with facial recognition or cell signals or whatever, and then it has a bullet, a small piece of dynamite that it can shoot uh, point blank at a person's forehead. And you know how fast drones move. So the, the danger uh, is that this uh, targeted assassination weapon can be built by an experienced hobbyist for $1,000. And I think that changes the future of um, terrorism because no longer are terrorists uh, potentially losing their lives to do something bad. It also allows a terrorist group to um, use 10,000 of these drones to perform something as terrible as genocide. And of course, it changes the future of warfare because between country and country, this can create havoc and damage, but perhaps anonymously, and people don't know who did the attack. So it's also quite different from nuclear arms race, where nuclear arms race at least has deterrence built in, that you don't attack someone for the fear of retaliation and annihilation. But uh, autonomous weapons um, might be uh, doable as a surprise attack, and people might not even know who did it. So I think that is a, from my perspective, the ultimate greatest danger that AI can be a part of, and we need to be cautious and figure out how to ban or regulate it. Yeah, that is scary. And I think I've read uh, an article about that fairly recently, about the future of warfare is terrifying, and it described various weapons and scenarios where these weapons were used. So just to drill down on that just a little bit, how would we uh, prevent these types of um, weapons to be deployed or developed even? Um, so one, one uh, example is to look at history, um, how uh, chemical weapons, biological weapons were banned. Um, there could be a global treaty that is enforced. Uh, there are, if there are drones, today the easiest way, uh, the cheapest way is to build a drone, not a robot. Robots are much more expensive and more clumsy and harder to control. Drones are the most dangerous. So perhaps having some uh, stronger laws of, of the air on um, uh, how, where and how drones can be deployed, and perhaps having some defensive mechanisms that uh, prevent, you know, where there are a lot of people or a lot of um, uh, government uh, functions uh, to have defensive functions that would basically shoot down drones in areas that aren't permitted. So I'm not an expert in the domain, but just to brainstorm, these are some ideas. I'm sure there are other better ideas.